What is going to be today? We are going to be comparing older versus newer WWE action figures. And not even that old, man. The figures on your left are from the last three to four years. Maybe even the last two to three years. This is Elite 101. This is the earliest figure from this side of the room, I'm pretty sure. Elite 101 Cody Rhodes. One of the first figures of Cody Rhodes back from when he returned to WWE at WrestleMania 38. And then on your right, you have three more recent figures. Elite 111 Cody Rhodes. The WrestleMania 41 Las Vegas build a figure Howard Finkel Elite Seth Rollins. And then we we do have the Royal Rumble 2025 set. Great Kali build a figure Cody Rhodes right here in the middle. And I just want to showcase everything that is wrong with modern WWE action figures or the modern figures made from the modern factories and all those things and just kind of get into what I think is the biggest issues that we face right now when it comes to things like this with our WWE action figures. And today it's just kind of a comparison video and I want you guys to tell me what you think. Let me know all your thoughts down below. We kind of did a sort of video like this earlier, but I did want to touch on, you know, the full-fledged thing between the comparison and make an actual video instead of doing just a voice layover talking about the talking about the quality control and things like that I wanted to actually make a video where we compare the two side by side get some hands on it and showcase exactly what I'm talking about now one thing I want to preface before we get started if you guys missed this video right here talking about the quality of Mattel WWE action figures falling off and what my entire deal is and what my conspiracy theory is or what my whole thoughts are on everything leading into this video right here you definitely need to go check that video out and then come back to this for some context on what exactly I'm talking about but we're gonna be comparing these figures today and and talk about everything I'm talking about, man. I have I have some different situations in my head that I want to go through and just kind of progress on why I think we've made mistakes along the way. And we're going to get into all of it right here. And it is a learning thing. It is a learning thing and process as we go throughout. And I'm sure Mattel will correct some of these things as we progress. But let's start things off with these first two figures right here, man. Let's start off with one of the early... So this is the first Elite of Cody Rhodes since he returned to WWE. So this is the Elite 101 Cody Rhodes in the blue gear. Solid figure. I like this figure a lot. I thought it was a good release. Head sculpt wasn't the best, but every Everything else for the most part was absolutely money. And then we do have the 2025 Royal Rumble set Cody Rhodes from his win at the 2023 Royal Rumble, which was a figure I was very excited for, all things considered. I was there front row for the show in this moment, so I was looking forward to this figure a lot. But I think the execution, I don't know, man. We're going to get into the comparison today, and I want you guys to give me your thoughts down below, man. But first of all, it's time for another WhatNot stream. And not only does that mean more figures up for grabs for you, we will also be doing at least five free WWE action figure giveaways. MDT, did you say five? Well, yes, I did. Wow, that's a shish ton of figures. It is, isn't it? But you people deserve it. And what makes this stream special is we are celebrating Beyond the Con NYC. Four designated days dedicated to bringing the magic of New York Comic Con to the comfort of your own home. My stream will be taking place October 20th, this Sunday at 8 p.m. Central Time. And if you've never signed up for whatnot, you can go to the link in the description below, download the app, and you will get $15 free credit to use during my stream or one of the many other streams happening this weekend with a massive range of toys, comics, live artist signings, and more. Now, Whatnot is basically like eBay and Twitch put together in the same place, so it's basically a live-selling, live-streaming platform all at the same time. The custom title belts will return. We will also have action figures available, of course, and you already know Whatnot exclusive mystery items straight from my personal action figure collection. So go down to the link in my description, click the link, and download Whatnot so that you can download the app, get your $15 credit, and I will see you guys Sunday, the 20th of October, 8 p.m. Central Time. The head sculpts, I don't think the head sculpts are an issue with the new factory. I haven't found like anything that's egregious. The only one thing that I want to correct is the jaw tattoo, which I did ask Mattel about. And I think they are kind of working on it. We'll see what comes of it. But um, something I can't really stress on Cody Rhodes figures that I have to stress on other figures is the tattoos. I don't think you can really find a massive difference between these. They are using the exact same parts and everything from the torso up or from the waist up. I haven't found anything that's egregious. Sometimes it looks like the elbows may be a touch darker than the elbows of these figures. Like, it looks like this plastic. I'm sure this plastic is possibly made of a different material than this plastic here. So you will get a bit of two-tone sometimes, but it's not... I don't think it's over... I don't know. You just don't see it a whole lot, but I haven't found a big issue in the articulation either. Like, the shoulders feel good over here. The shoulders feel good over here. I have never had a problem with pinless double-jointed arms from Mattel. I've always felt that they've done a pretty good job since they implemented them, and I haven't thought that they were loose or too tight or anything like that. I think that the way 
swivel, same thing. They feel about the same. Any issues that I really have with these figures that we see are from the crotch down. And what the what the real deal is between these two is actually let's just showcase. So this is the old the old school ball joints before. Let's take the belt off so we get everything consistent here. This is the Elite 101 Cody Rhodes, and this is him on traditional ball joints, not the new ones that we see today. You can see here. I can kick the, the leg forward. I can do a split out here. I can do a thigh swivel, double jointed knee. It's not very tight. I can actually bend the knee without it feeling like it's going to snap in half. Same thing here. I am noticing that the top of this seems like it's stuck or something. I don't, I guess I've never double flexed that, but this one over here, you can see that it, it no, no issues whatsoever, but uh, you do get that double jointed knee boot rotation. And then it does have the classic ankles from Mattel and the smaller feet there. So you do get a small ankle rocker and then the boots do go down and up right there. But this is what I would prefer. I would prefer that they never went to pinless legs. And I've talked about pinless legs a lot and I'll get some other examples of pinless legs up here so you can see how bad they are in my opinion. But for this moment, I am just talking about the ball, the ball joints and things like that. And we're just gonna go through all my issues with the brand new figures that I find myself personally. So then we bring in the newer figure. And again, I don't have any issues with the upper part of the figure. All of my issues come down here, Man. And what it is, is you will see here, I'm trying to just move the leg forward 90 degrees like I did with that Cody over there. But you'll notice when you push it forward, what does it do? It goes right back in and gets very stiff. It really, it just feels like it's hanging in place. It, it can't really move anywhere. You can go out some, but I think people would tell you that they would rather be able to kick forward than do a split. But the thigh cut, you can hear it rub a little bit. That's not the biggest issue, but this is a pinless knee. And this one actually is not as tight as other pinless knees that I've seen. I've actually seen some that are much more egregious. But I think I could possibly live with the pinless knee if I could actually kick his leg forward. I mean, this side can't even kick forward. This side does kick forward, but you can still hear how tight that is. But it's certainly, it's kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes you get them and they, they can go up. And sometimes you get them and they do this right here where they pop back in place. So that's one of those issues right there. And when I talk a lot about Elite One Rey Mysterio, the reason I call that the Elite One Rey Mysterio problem is because back in the day, figures like this, this is from 2010, back in the day, the joint that wasn't ball joints, it's not really a ratchet joint. A ratchet joint you'll find on other figures. This is not a ratchet joint that people call it that. I've heard that joint called a pine cone joint, and it's where you get, it's not on a ball joint. It can't move freely around like, like this Cody Rhodes leg, it can go kind of in a circle because it's on a ball joint. It can do a full rotation like this. The pine cone joints, cannot do that. It will snap in half. It feels like very, it'll get stuck. It'll go like this. It'll go back in place like that and won't hold form. Ball joints allow for you to kind of free roam. And you can even see he's kind of leaning forward, this Rey Mysterio. That's because of those traditional pine cone joints they used to give us. And now that it seems that those have kind of came back in modern day because of these pinless joints and this new updated quote unquote technology that now you've done away with ball joints. What used to make Cody Rhodes figure so good and Seth Rollins figure so good is because they could free form roam around. They felt so good in hand because because of that. And what's crazy is Mattel actually made a change to this. And I can't remember, I don't think every single figure back in the day had the pine cone joints. They may have to start. I don't think so though, because there are some earlier figures that have ball joints, but then they switched the formula of the Rey Mysterio. And this one is on the traditional ball joints that the Cody Rhodes back here is on. Not these. These two kind of have similar joints and then these two have similar joints. And look how free form this is. Look, he can kick forward and it holds and it goes around. You see how it has a free roam. It can move around. It doesn't get locked into place. You can move this all over the place without it snapping or feeling like it's going to snap. That is what they went away from. And you can see here, because he is on a traditional ball joint, look, he can stand straight up. Do you see this? This one is awful to pose. This one is really fun to pose around and feels good in hand. And now modern Rey Mysterios have the ball joints. I mean, that, that is what you get. Besides one of his greatest hits figures, which let me grab the examples. And I'm telling you, it's all about the factory because this is a modern Rey Mysterio figure, but it was made in China. This is the China factory right here. Again, free roam ball joint right here. It can move around. It can pose around the best of them. It feels immaculate in hand. Now I'll show you a Rey Mysterio made in Vietnam. This Rey Mysterio, which is the exact same mold, every quote unquote, right? This looks the exact same. Everything's the same. This one was made in Vietnam. If you check the bottom of the figure, you'll know. And look, he has that kind of lean forward. He doesn't stand straight up. I know this one's kind of leaning back, but it's because I... I kind of messed it up myself, but he has that, and he has that same stuck leg. He cannot, like, kick forward. Look at this. Look at this right leg, man. It has that same forward and back. This does not free roam. It has no... It gets tight. It gets stuck. It gets all these things, 
and it leads to the figure being posed weird. He can't just stick his leg straight down. He has to have that little angle of his leg. It's just a very, very, I don't know. It's very, very annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very annoying. But going back to Cody Rhodes right here, man, this is the problem that we're facing right here. The legs will not go, and he, no, Cody Rhodes figures are no longer very poseable, man. They're no longer buttery smooth in the hand, and it worries me because these used to be some of the best figures that Mattel would put out would be Cody Rhodes, not to mention the fact that we have these new feet. And look at the foot size. Look at this right here. Look at that foot size. And I'm sure, again, they will fix this. And I do like the new articulation, but they have added these newer feet, which have added to bigger feet. And I think Bill kind of touched on this at San Diego Comic-Con in 2023, that he was afraid that if he updated the technology or updated the articulation, that they would end up making the feet too big. And he probably called that correct here because this is what we're getting now. And I like the new feet sculpts and boot sculpts, but I think these feet are a bit too big. And again, that's something I think they'll get under control but now it does have that AEW articulation where you can literally rotate this boot all the way around and I like the posability I just think that now his feet look massive and when you combine that new I don't really mind the new foot articulation I'm fine with the new boot articulation my biggest problem is the legs and the ball joints themselves. It creates this awfulness between them, and it just looks so weird, and he can't stand up straight, and he doesn't feel good in hand anymore. He, he, he has lost the touch, like the just how good he feels in hand. Like, look at him just standing there. That's how he has to stand, because he can't just stand normally. Same thing with this figure right here. This is the new legs with the pinless joints and everything, but with the older boots, and you're still getting that same thing. Look, look, how, look how magnificent this attire is, but it doesn't matter because I can't can't even pose him around because he has this stupid leg thing right here where it gets stuck and people will tell you I know you can remove the leg and you can shave down the ball joints with a dremel and make it more poseable but if you shave off too much it will get too loose and that's something that we should not be able to do that that we should have to be doing because this right here was perfection and I know you can see the joints but there was no real like it wasn't broken it looks it looks aesthetically fine it poses around fantastic feels amazing in hand and not to mention Seth Rollins over here if you compare these this is what I'm talking about now look at the chest hair and the stomach hair this is a figure made in Vietnam on the right this is a figure made in China on the left look how dark they make the chest hair now. The parts just have a certain matteness to it. You can see the finish on the plastic is a little different as well. And then the legs have that same issue. This just feels like a floating stiff leg. This is such hard plastic. This plastic right here on this leg is egregiously hard. And it had like all this plastic is so hard that I think it's created this like wonky leg movement, which I guess it's better than it popping back and forth. Like I'll take this over that. But now I don't know if it's just a Seth Rollins issue, but the plastic that this is made of, and it may just be this figure in general, but something about it just feels so hard. It's, it's crazy. Also not to mention, that his back tattoo is not on here and they've missed the back tattoo quite a few times but uh, when the legs are this stiff and you have them on ball joints and the ball joint isn't good enough it will create like a looseness problem but I think I'd rather face that issue I'd rather them face this issue probably than this one back here where it gets stuck and goes back and forth but again look at this it has the free roam this is a Seth Rollins ball joint like a classic ball joint this ball joint is the same ball joint as that one and the same ball joint as this ray and the same ball joint as this ray and all of them were made in the same factory or at least that same like they were all made in China. Then you get into the Vietnam factories and you have the the problems that we're seeing here. So I'm guessing that they had a change in factory. They were forced to make changes and it has cost us some quality here in our WWE action figures, man. But I just wanted to touch on that, get on here, talk about it, proof examples why and all those different things in this video. But I think that, oh yeah, one thing before we got out of here, dude, this is... You know, his knees aren't as tight, but the jean pants, jean pants that are pinless legs, these are pinless legs out of the new SmackDown 4-pack Target exclusive, these legs are so tight that it's ridiculous ridiculous how tight these knee joints are on these pants. It's crazy. I think they use a stiffer plastic. They use a much harder plastic and it contributes to this. I think that if these legs were made softer, they wouldn't be so hard to pose and they wouldn't feel so damn stiff and it would lead to better things. But these are on ball joints, but uh, you're still gonna, like these, this is kind of has a Seth Rollins problem where it's on traditional ball joints, but the, the plastic is so damn stiff that it adds to the thing. It's still free rooms. You don't get it like popping back and forth, but uh, it's still pretty damn awful because of the, the hardness of the plastic. But yeah, that's all I got for you today, man. I'd like to know all your thoughts though. I want to know your thoughts down below. What do you think of all this? I know it was kind of just word salad and word vomit coming out and just kind of talking, but 
I wanted to make this video so you guys could see exactly the things that I'm talking about. If you guys agree, disagree, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. I appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. But that is going to wrap up today's quality control video on the Mattel WWE figures, man. It's sad to see because these three over here feel so good in hand. They pose around great. They look great. And these look great, maybe besides the clown feet. But these figures look great. And this head sculpt's not great. But you know what I'm saying. Okay, these... If they felt great in hand, they'd be some of the best figures of the year, but it's hard to rank them up there because they don't feel as quality as these over here. But I'm getting out, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>